hello welcome to the earth engine tutorial 126 in this video i'm going to show you how to use the uh, newly designed uh, inspector gui and first let me show you what it looks like so take a look at this uh, short animation uh, basically you can click the the two and then click uh, your mouse on the map to uh, query any pixel values or or uh, vector data that intersecting with your mouse uh, clicking location and you can turn layer on and off for example you can query vector data it's going to show you the result in a tree structure so it's kind of exactly the same as what you see in uh, the javascript uh, os engine javascript core editor so pretty much exactly the same and so first make sure that you uh, install the gmap package update to the latest version uh, 0.1701 and then you should be able to follow through this tutorial so i'm going to show you how to download it uh, you go to gmap.org and then tutorials uh, go to the end number 126 and then just click the download icon to download this one to your computer then you can open using jupyter lab so i'm already i uh, already opened the, um, the notebook in here and so this is a very uh, short tutorial i'm just going to show you uh, two, two to three examples uh, first you need to import the library and then i'm going to add uh, a couple of data sets I'm going to add uh, a DM, a global DM, and also a lane set data. And also I'm going to add uh, the US census uh, states boundary. And this is where, how I'm going to visualize the, the DM. So uh, pay attention here, the palette. So this one, you can just put a keyword, uh, terrain or any palettes that supported by Matplotlib, and then uh, add the DM, also add the lane set data. I'm going to use a uh, 3432 three, so this is the first color composite and lastly at the uh, feature collection that's it so we have three data layers and then we're going to use this one to demonstrate how you can use this to use the inspector tool so uh, click here and then you can turn the layer on and off so for example this is the global dm and you can turn the layer of uh, change the layer opacity and also the dm so for now let's try with the uh, inspector two with this two raster data set so i'm going to click here and then click your mouse uh, on the map then you should be able to query the pixel values by default uh, you will see the option at the top here pixels are enabled so what does this one mean is that when you check this one it's going to automatically expand the pixel section so we have three uh, points pixels and also objects so we have three sections and if you check this one by default it's going to expand this if i uncheck so take a look if i click here uh it will only show you like this so it's not uh expand and it's sometimes if you just want to see the pixel value you probably have this one enabled by default uh it's going to be much better so that you don't have to click uh the plus signs in order to expand so you can clearly see the pixel values for uh, this location that you just click and also the elevation so you have two raster data layers you can click any location it will automatically expand that uh, you're also welcome to expand this uh the point uh point basically is this one so you'll be able to see the longitude latitude of your click location and also the zoom level so this right now is zoom level four if i zoom out zoom in a little bit it should be five so if i click this one and then click again uh, you should expect to see five right so this is how you can uh, get the information for your mouse clicking location and also the pixel values under the click location so this is for the raster data set uh, you also welcome to uh, turn on the vector data set again uh, so the inspector tool we only work with the uh, layers that are visible so if the layer is not visible uh, you won't get anything so next let me show you here how to do that for vector data, uh, vector data. I just turned off the two raster data layers. Now we have the vector data layer, and you can actually uncheck this one. Uncheck. So I'm just going to show the vector, the polygon. Once you check this, then you can click. You should be able to see it now, right? I just click a polygon in North Dakota, right? So you see, uh, this is a feature and the feature ID and also all the properties. This one is essentially the uh, feature collection. Um, basically the attribute table of where you click so if i change my location um, to other po uh, other uh, poly other polygons you see a different result so this one here is texas so for example click california right you see the result so this gives you a, an easy way uh, if you want to inspect uh, raster data or vector data and it's using a tree structure so it's much more 
uh, organized than the previous one just print out all the output so it might take a lot of space but now it's collapsible so it's welcome to take that you can select uh, if you want okay so this is how you can use the uh, inspector tool it should work for all earth engine image and also facial collection uh, next one here i'm going to show you an example actually uh, there's also a new function called uh, get info so get underscore info uh, it's a bit different from the uh, earth engine uh, i don't get info maybe let me try this one to show you what it's a difference so for example uh, this is an earth engine, earth engine image right i can say get info uppercase and then uh, enter right so this see this one it's a pretty long list right so you have a lot of uh, spectral bands i think uh, i think um almost 18 bands 18 or 19 bands and you also have a lot of prot uh, properties and then called footprints and then um also a bunch of properties so it's not very convenient because it's way too long and i would highly recommend that now you can if you're using python you can use uh, this new function that i just created it's called uh underscore uh, gmap dot get info and take a look so if i execute this one you will see now it's a tree structure so it's going to show you this one has 19 bands uh, for this image so it's a type it's an image and also you can see the image uh earth exit id and also the version and also how many bands right and from here you can click each band uh, sb1 uh, service reflectance and also the data type for example dimension you can see how many rows and how many columns uh, for this spectral band and you can see for all of them right you can also clearly see this is integer uh, also the coordinate uh, system and also the uh, uh, width and height so this is for band and you can also look at the property um, and this is also the same as you see earlier but right now it's in a, a much easier format because it can collapse so it doesn't take uh, too much space uh, and if you scroll down to the end you will also see for example the ace uh, size so this is uh, how many bytes and uh, the index basically is the unique id uh, for this one under the image collection you can also see the time start and end this one is basically using the utc uh, seconds so you will see how many in here also the footprint right and coordinates you can look if you want uh, longitude and latitude and so the information is the same as this one if you directly use the dot get info but right now it's in a tree structure so it takes much less uh, space and uh, let me execute this one besides uh using the uh, get info for image you can also do that for uh feature uh if you just do a feature collection you probably don't uh see much right so it's a feature collection id and the property is only one but if you want to look at a specific feature um then if you want to look at the attribute table or the properties then you should for example just select one for example state dot first right and in this case you will see this one so similar to what you uh see earlier using the inspector right so if again here if i click this one you should be able to see this one so this is how i mean behind the scene this is basically this component here is put printed within uh this uh, inspector output in here so just like this one right you see a feature um, but it also has a layer name so it be because this one is using a layer name otherwise just print out the feature type and the results are exactly the same so this is how uh, if you don't want to use the inspector tool you can also use the dot get underscore uh, info function to get the information so it will retrieve all the properties for a specific uh, earth engine object and so that you can navigate you can double check uh, in that way you don't have to use dot get function uh, all the time to just get a, a pixel value or an attribute table for a specific uh, earth engine feature okay so that's all for this uh, video i hope you find it useful I see you in the next um, video take care bye bye